Right, we're going to show you how to make this flower pot stand. There's the um, the design, and there's the arrangement of how it's attached together. So the assembly drawing, if you like. There's some sizes there. Okay, Jake, on that. Mm -hmm. Having a few problems with the camera today. Um, we're going to make it out of pine wood, and you could have um, you could use different types of wood if you want, even a beech, uh, which is a hardwood, deciduous. It says there. And, um, or you could use the pine, which is coniferous, and as you know, it's a softwood. So, um, by all means, why not look at this on the video and see the arrangement before you make it. Um, you can see some of the detail about the drilling and the shapes there. Um, we're using a cross halving joint there, and I'll show you what we're going to get. You could use the lathe to make the central spindle a bit more exciting. And I think Jake may add on a little video clip for that. Uh, again, there's the uh, assembly drawing and the finished piece. And I'll show you how it all goes together. This is These are the various parts. And I've made it all out of pine wood. So there's the lap joint, which the later video clips will show you how to do. Um, I've drilled um, a 8mm or a 7.5mm hole there for the dowel. And there's the central spindle. I've sanded it and I've, I've planed off the corners. It needs more sanding, actually, I notice. Then it, that goes in there, like so. And I've planed the top and the bottom part of the, the top um, and chamfered it off, that's the word, and doweled it. And that fits on there, like that. So there it is, unglued. I think for what it is, an hour's piece of work, perhaps a bit more for some people, but um, I think that's a nice little project. What do you think, Jake? It's for cups of tea and bottles of glue and bottles of glue or whatever you may want to use it for <laughs> okay do you like that jake yeah it's okay. very neat we'll look forward to the clips coming up and it will show you how to make it in the easy stages okay so i've got this piece of timber here which is about um three centimeters by two and a half or three perhaps no it must be four by three um i've measured it at um about um 300 yeah 35 centimetres, yours might be about 300, and you just divide that into two, in this case it would be 17 and a half, so there, and I use my tri-square just to make a mark, all the way around, there, do this quickly so you can see what I'm doing, there's your mark, okay, and then you can cut that on a bench hook using a tenon saw, uh, there's your central spindle that we won't use that at the moment now this piece here jake all i've done i've got my piece of timber that's 200 by 200 yours could be slightly smaller and i've made a suitable hexagon in, in, in within it within it so i've got um 80 millimeters across there and it's roughly 80 then across there and there and there and then um i'm going to cut that on a bench hook um which is here I'm going to put this in the vise and I can clamp it or hold it at an angle and then I can saw away starting at a slight angle and then lowering the blade and then eventually go all the way through and I'll um, repeat that on each corner. There's a knot there so that might cause a bit of a problem. Okay, so I'll cut that. I'll also cut this. All the way through. Okay, you can see that's happening. And then I'll come back to you um, in a minute with those parts cut. And then we can start looking at the joint detail. Okay, guys, back to this flower pot stand. So we've cut those corners off. So they can go there. We're going to mark out... There, Jake, the base, and it's a halving joint. So you've got two pieces the same, and they're actually going to slot together. So it's a half out of here. Okay, that depth should be the same, and a half out of here. And you can mark them together, so put them together there. You can use your tri square to get this precise, and it must be precise, otherwise, the joint will be um, loose. And shade it, can you see that Jake? And I think I'll go a little deeper there. And then follow that line, the same as I've done there, the same as I've done there onto, onto the second piece. 
there's another line and another halving line and mark your cuts with a shaded area or the piece you're going to remove okay then place it in the bench hook and i'll just reach across here jay and get that tenon saw you're going to cut on the inside of the line so you're not cutting on the waist the piece you want on the waist you're going to cut hold it at an angle and you're going to do a cut there a cut there a cut there and a cut there all the way down on both pieces yeah all the way down on both pieces down to that line and then we can use the chisel and the mallet and we can carefully then um, when we cut down remove that with the chisel facing um, up so the flat side is actually on the base of the line can you see okay and we'll chisel that out in a moment i'll come back to you with that in process um, and uh, show you the rest of the project thank you okay we're just finishing off the final cuts so we've done one two three four five cuts there and I've done three there they're roughly Jake they're roughly the width of the chisel okay we can take the bench hook out now bench hook removed put your work um, in the vise and the work should be just above the line of cut below the line of cut and then you check um, get your mallet and your chisel put it in a slight angle on the line or just above the line Take it level, it must be level. One, two, three, four. Okay, you can now take it out of the vise, get rid of that over there and turn it round. Now you could just chisel that or you could use a rasp. Hold the rasp level. And that's that. And then we'll do the same to the other side. Won't be long, guys. I know you're waiting for this to be finished. One. Two. Three. Get rid of those. Keep your chisels and everything neat. that level there you go and the sides are already nice and level now if it's precisely cut hopefully this will fit i could get a little bit more level there oh look at that there you go yeah there's your your joint all right now what i'm going to do now jake i'm probably going to use um a ruler and uh, mark off a corner on each of the ends like that a try square. and I'm going to then put the bench hook back in the vise tighten it up there turn the saw on hold it nice and level and trim off each corner okay so we'll have the base done have all the corners cut we'll work out how we're going to add that on in a minute and there you can see jake the beginnings of the actual project okay come back to you with it all finished and, pl and planed up so next i'm going to put the dowel rod in the end of the middle spindle and a hole there so i've done two diagonals and we'll drill down about three centimeters the drill slightly bent, I noticed, but anyway. Yep, that's that. And then take that out quickly. And then we can make a diagonal mark, a wooden ruler. There, diagonal mark to find the center. There we go. And that can be held. Shame this is slightly bent the drill, but about three centimeters in. Oh, it's gone into the other layer. That doesn't matter. And that goes in there. And then this can go into there. Hopefully it's deep enough. 
a little bit deeper, but yeah. Okay, and there's our spindle. I could do that a little bit deeper, so I will. Not much deeper though. There. And that goes there. Okay, and I'm gonna plane up the sides and come back to the last stages. Okay, next stage, we need to put a little hole in there. Mustn't go right through. Check you're not going all the way through. You could put a little bit of tape on the drill so you know how deep to go. And we'll put glue in there eventually. Oh, just not my hand. And that will go in the other end of here. And I'll drill another a hole there. So it'll be dowel in there. That will go into there. And then that will go into there. Can you see, Jay? Mm -hmm. it looks quite good, doesn't it? Yeah. Now, what I was going to show you just quickly before we go into the next clip is hold that diagonally on the vise. Grab your block plane. Hopefully, it's got a nice sharp blade. And then slight angle there. And you can just take off, chamfer off that sharp corner. Now, I may even get Jake to get the lathe out and we could lay the piece and show the students yeah. or the viewers um, how they could um, lay it so it looks rather fabulous. Could do. All right, so maybe we do that in the next clip. Okay, guys, the last stages, there's the top. I'm just chamfering off the corner with a block plane. Must be a sharp blade. I think that's nearly it. Yeah, that chamfer there. Let me just show you, Jake, what I've done. That's come out, the piece of a knot, so that's a shame. I may try and find it where it's gone on the floor. In fact, there it is. <laughs> I may have to glue that knot in. Oh yeah, that'll work. Okay, so there we have the base with the cross halving joint. Okay, there we have the central spindle knocks together. Let's knock it in a bit further. Like that. Of course it'll all be glued so and I've just realised what I've done. <laughs> the chamfer is on the bottom which is okay but I'll do a chamfer on the top so it'll actually look like that. So <laughs> it doesn't really matter but it probably does need a bit of a chamfer on the top and mm -hmm. the bottom. Okay so I'll do the same on the top so when it goes on We'll go there and we'll take some photographs but i'll put it on for now so i can and it will look that will be glued in and i'll plane off the top and then we have a little project um there's our design as you as you saw remember the design and tools are tape measure block plane a mallet tri square your one may be slightly bigger um bevel edge chisel pencil, rasp, bench hook, tenon saw, woodworker's vise, handheld power drill, and twist drill there for, with the woodworking bit on it. You can see it's got that sharp. Yeah, it's called it? a Brad Point bit. Oh, Brad Point bit. And um, there we go. I think that's about it. I could make that, you could make that probably in an hour. Um, not much longer. I think it's a nice little project.